Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Darnell, and today I'm going to paint on this 12-inch Convexo. Um, if you follow my channel, you'll know that I have been working with interference paints, and I have a little bit left over from the first time I tried it and used the um, pearl medium and then my last video. So I have those leftover paints. So today I'm going to go old school, and I'm going to use this thing right here. This is the bottom of a bottle that's been cut off. I believe this is an ice bottle because it's got the six dividers. So we're going to put some black paint down and then we're going to put this on and pour over it. So it's a bottle bottom pour with interference paints. Let's get started. Alright, so now I've got to find the center. This is not my favorite thing to do. It looks pretty good right there. Okay, so I'm going to start off with some black. This is the violet that I added the pearl medium to. So this is just basically a pearl. It's a little thickage, but this will probably just run off the edge. But maybe not. All right. I'm gonna do a little black. Violet. And this violet is the one that I mixed correctly. All right. I'm probably going to have to layer these with black every other layer so that that color does pop. do some gold. I don't have very much of this. Very, very little. So I'm going to be very sparingly with it so I can use it a couple times. Alright, let's see what that does. Drip it. Violet. As a young girl, it feels were mine. We played hide and seek for hours. 
raised our shadows among the pines so offshore playful and free without a care in the world i was one rich little girl daydreamer kidnap me take me back all the way back Okay, so now I think I'm gonna spin. So I'm going to get this up on some cups so that it can get some airflow underneath it to dry. And um, let me get my other camera and I'll come down and show you a close up wet and then I'll show you when it dries.
So here it is, it's all dry. It does not have varnish on it. Look how amazing it came out. As I was creating this, I knew I had to lay the black in between the colors to make the paints work, but I was so afraid that it was gonna turn out really dark because of that. But I just needed to trust the process because other than the edges being a little dark, the top is not. It looks really, really good. So I can't wait to get a coat of varnish on this. So thank you for joining. I'll see you on the next one. Oh, that's my kitty.